Lisa graces us with her presence. Hi, Lisa. We love you, fabulous and late. Hi, you guys. Sharon Lisa Mallette, who sweat Hartwell, has had many ups and downs as a youth and as an adult. This is including infidel infidelity and substance abuse allegations, filing for bankruptcy, divorcing one of the biggest R&B singers of the 90s after years of alleged abuse, losing custody of her children after being called an unfit mother, and divorcing for the second time to a well-known NFL player. This is what really happened. Welcome back to the NoLisaSouthern.com. Lisa Wu Hardwell, whose real name is Sharon Mallette Hardwell, also known as Sharon Lisa Sweat, was born on January 23, 1973 in Inglewood, California. She was born to an Afro-Caribbean mother, Victoria Wu, and a Chinese father, Stanley Wu. Lisa holds an American nationality and has three siblings, Sherry Wu, Andre Wu, and Oscar L. Brasilis, aka Miho. Lisa's early childhood is somewhat of a mystery. There were several articles that were posted that allege some very damaging information about Lisa Sharon. According to different articles, she allegedly had a substance abuse problem in college. The article went on to say that she was an alleged gold digger in high school and that she only dated football players and d-boys in her neighborhood. Although this information has not been proven, Lisa Sharon has always denied any of these allegations. Always having an eye for the spotlight, Lisa started in the industry as a backup dancer. Lisa went on to tour and open shows for Public Enemy, Candyman, EPMD, and many others. She even dabbled in rap, joining a group called 19. The group became a hit and was offered a record deal, but Lisa changed her mind and decided to answer her calling to ministry. Lisa has been linked to many high-profile men. This is including Ralph Trevant, even though he was allegedly still married to his wife Shelly, singer and producer Teddy Riley, while he was married to his wife Donna, and even NFL player Curtis Conway before meeting his now wife Layla Ali. In the early 1990s, Elisa met R&B hitmaker Keith Sweat. They began dating and later married in 1992. The couple had two sons together, Jordan and Justin Sweat. During an interview, Elisa confessed that the relationship between her and Keith Sweat was, ab was an abusive one at times. In an interview with Essence Magazine, Elisa stated he was very sweet at first, but looking back on it now, there were some signs of him being controlling from the beginning. Now, during this interview, she does not reveal her abuser, but Lisa did recall one morning being awakened to watch her abuser, who by this time had slammed and grabbed her by the neck, pacing back and forth by their bed, threatening to pour some hot oil on her. Unfortunately, the couple could not make the marriage work, and they later decided to divorce in 2002. Lisa lists her career as acting, producing, writing, and a real estate agent. She also lists a website on her Instagram page, however, the link leads to a defunct page. The page just links to her and her son. 2003, Lisa unfortunately lost custody of her children and Keith Sweat, her ex-husband, received primary custody. According to the final divorce decree written by Fulton Superior Court Judge Cynthia D. Wright, she stated there is evidence that the father has been violent towards the mother, but no evidence he has ever been violent with any of his children. The judge felt the children at the time lacked structure in their lives due to substantial part to the mother's numerous business ventures and frequent trips out of town. The judge went on to say that the mother has a history of spending money on herself excessively rather than providing for the children. There was some evidence at trial that the mother participated in robbing the father in the presence of the children. She also took money from the father prior to the initiation of this matter. This behavior causes the court to question the mother's maturity and judgment. The judge did go on to say that although Keith Sweat did travel frequently, that the father is capable of providing a more stable and secure home environment for the boys where their care is not delegated to random third parties. 
Now, it has been widely rumored that the alleged third parties were relationships Lisa was having while still being married to Keith Sweat. This is, was why she was spending so much time out of town. Although, again, she denies these allegations. Now, while trying to win full custody of her children back, she met and married her second husband, former Oakland Raiders linebacker Egerton Ed Hartwell on May 20, 2006. The couple had one son together, Egerton E.J. Hartwell, born May 9, 2007. Later that same year, Lisa and Ed filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Now, on October 2008, the premiere of Real Housewives of Atlanta on Bravo was aired and Lisa portrayed her life as, as a successful businesswoman with a real estate firm as well as a jewelry, baby, and clothing line, all while being, while being married with a one-year-old son. Even though Lisa has three children, only one was featured on the show. This was due to the fact that her ex-husband, Keith Sweat, refused to sign a waiver to allow the children to be a part of the show. Keith Sweat told Essence Magazine, I do not want my children exploited in that way. It would be different if this was more of a family-oriented show on Nickelodeon or Disney. After this was publicized, Lisa later told Star Magazine, if Keith has a hang-up about our sons being on TV, I would be fine with that. But Real Housewives is supposed to be a reality series, and the reality is all the fans watch and believe I only have one child. Jordan and Justin understand what the show involves, and they love to do it. I adore all my sons and believe they all have a rightful place on the show. Unfortunately, the bad love continued. In 2009, Elisa and Ed lost their home to foreclosure after defaulting on their loan. The couple paid $2.9 million for the five-bedroom mansion in 2007, but it was sold at auction for a mere $1.9 million. Now, during the show, Lisa and Ed attempted to make it seem as if they were downsizing, but the truth was, once Ed was cut from the NFL due to an injury, the couple could no longer afford the payments. Now, during the show, Lisa did feature the death of her brother, Miho. Now, after being questioned on the cause of his death and why he had a different name, Lisa gave very vague statements. Now, Lisa stated that he died of unknown causes, adding that he was on a lot of medications and he drank. Lisa also went on to reveal that her brother was gay, allegedly, and he had a girlfriend. Now, again, in regards to Miho's last name, Lisa made another vague statement to Asian C Magazine. She stated, my dad is Chinese and my mom is black and they met in Baltimore, Maryland. My dad was in the service. He met her out there. I have other siblings too. She was previously married to a Spanish guy. She had some children with him, but when my father married her, he basically raised all of the children as his. They moved to Los Angeles. Dad was in the army. She never really addressed the reason for the different last names. Now, on June 11, 2009, Lisa Wu Hartwell filed for primary custody of her two sons with ex-husband R&B singer Keith Sweat. In a Star Magazine interview, she stated, I've already been seeing them four or five times a week, but now the time has come when I want to have them with me full time. I immediately filed for an appeal after the verdict, but I was never given a court date in five years. I've been afraid of the new system, but I'm finally taking the bull by the horns and trying to get my boys back again. After she filed the papers, according to court documents by the Superior Court in Fulton County, Lisa went on to say that the best interest of the minor children will be served by modifying the current custody and visitation provisions to make the mother the primary physical condition of the minor children. Since the time of the divorce decree, Lisa stated that she has remarried, owns a successful business, and will provide a stable, loving, and nurturing environment in which she can raise the children. She stated that if she gained full custody of the children, that she would be seeking spousal support. But unfortunately, that never happened. During Lisa's stint on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, former castmate Kim Zosiak once again accused Lisa of substance abuse. 
which again, Lisa denied. Kim Zosiak accused Lisa of having a problem, but Lisa denied the allegations and threatened to sue Kim for damaging her reputation. Fortunately, Lisa was only on The Real Housewives of Atlanta for only two seasons. In 2010, she claimed that she quit because the show wanted to develop in storylines that she wasn't comfortable with. A year later, on August 24, 2011, Ed officially filed for divorce from Lisa Wu. She originally came out and stated that she left him, but it was later confirmed that he actually filed for divorce. It was originally rumored that the couple divorced over their financial troubles, but Lisa tried to put that to rest by stating, sadly we are separated but it would never be over money. That is so far from the truth. After her divorce, Lisa went radio silent for a few years, but she may try to make a comeback on October 8, 2014. She premiered on TV One's show Hollywood Divas. During a phone interview, Lisa stated that I'm doing what I love. I'm happy to be back. Doing this show makes sense. I'm among my peers. On the show, many people did not feel as if Lisa should have been on the show. They did not feel she had enough experience to be considered a Hollywood diva. Unfortunately, she was fired from the show after doing only one season. Two years later, on January 15th, it was announced via Instagram that Ed Hartwell married Keisha Knight Polium, aka Rudy, on the Huxables. It was rumored that Keisha and Lisa were friends, and according to Lisa, she was the one who introduced Keisha and Ed, and she found out about their marriage through their eight year old son, EJ. It's shady. But first of all, let's go back. Didn't you introduce Ed to Keisha? Yeah. You know, we're industry cool. She wasn't like my best friend. How have things been between you and Ed since, you know, learning about his, his engagement in the marriage? We're actually great, you know? And so after, you know, I got it out and addressed it, it's fine, you know? EJ's happy, that's all I care about. And, and so, you know, I was disappointed, but I mean, life moves on, right? Wait, so hold up. You're telling me you found out from your eight-year-old from EJ? Well, that they were getting married. Girl, you better than it, me. No, I'm it, happy. I'm happy. Well, we'll probably end up being like Bruce Willis and Demi Moore in their situation. You know how you blend. So, so you know, when, when you do that and you men, and there, there's no hate going on. It's just the way that I found out about it. Other than that, my son is happy. He likes her. So that's all that matters. And if she's great to my son, then I'm great to her. Like, you know, if he wasn't, it'd be a problem. Although Keisha stated that she was not a homewrecker, that Lisa and Ed was divorced many years before Ed and Keisha got together, Lisa was not happy about that situation. It has been stated that Lisa Wu is only, her estimated net worth is only $100,000. When researching her once clothing line closet freak, only old articles about her clothing line comes up. So it will be safe to say that her clothing line is no more. Several gossip blogs have reported that Lisa Wu may make an appearance on the new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. The new season of Real Housewives will premiere on November 3rd, 2019. So we shall see if Lisa is Sharon Lisa Wu Sweat Hartwell will make her comeback. Now I want you guys to let me know what did you think about Lisa's bio? Were you surprised by the different names and different aliases that she has? Were you surprised about her net worth? Let me know your opinions below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my video on the rise and fall of No Limit Rapper Mystical. You guys, don't forget to give us a thumb up, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Share and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I want you guys to have a good day. Bye.